Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode 23 of the 24 episode season 3 of Varico Wednesdays. Today I want to talk about something which is slightly morose, if you may think so, suffering. I, uh, this is a personal admission. I, growing up, I had a very, very unusual relationship with suffering. I was uh, almost taught, trained to believe that suffering is a form of selflessness. That when you choose to suffer, you essentially being a very selfless person because you mostly tend to suffer for someone else or because of someone else. And I grew up thinking that if I sacrifice my happiness, my peace for someone else, if I go through what I would classify today as a round of suffering or a period of suffering because I'm trying to do something for someone else, that is generosity. That is selflessness. That is me putting someone else ahead of my own self. And uh, I remember growing up in this scenario. I remember believing that sacrificing your own peace, your own happiness for someone else was always the right thing to do. And today I, I stand at a very, very different platform or a very different point in my life where I genuinely have come to realize that the biggest gift you can give someone is to not suffer. The biggest thing that you can do for someone else is not to suffer yourself. Because there is no point of you going across trying to position yourself as selfless, as generous, when you haven't even taken the first steps to help your own self. Marriage is a great example. There's so many people who think that the responsibility of being happy, the responsibility of making someone happy, either rests on ourselves or on someone else. We almost make this very deeply connected relationship with our partners, even if we are not married, but if we are in a relationship, our boyfriend, our girlfriend, even our friends, we're like, either I am responsible for our happiness or you're responsible for our own happiness. But if we were to just make ourselves responsible for our own happiness, that's the best gift we can give to any relationship. And that's the same thing for even a work environment. If you think that you working your ass off and you doing everything that you need to do even more than what others are required to and killing yourself to make someone else's life easier or happier or more comfortable at the workplace and that is selflessness, it's not. The best gift that you can give your organization, your boss, your manager, your team is to constantly be driven by the work that you do and not suffer because of it. And I only focus on suffering as a definition today in this conversation around the choice that you make to suffer within for someone else. Of course, there are hajar other ways why you would suffer, hajar other reasons why you would suffer, and those need not be choices that you've made. They are just imposed on you. But in today's context or in today's conversations context, this suffering is all about you actively making a choice that you wish to suffer, that you want to suffer, that you need to suffer because it helps someone else. And it's such, such a strong realization in my mind that that is the wrong way to think about your own self, about selflessness, about generosity, about happiness in large. Because how many, how many people, including myself when I was young, have I seen go through this massive, I would say, downhill of a sort where they just believe that suffering is the way to make themselves generous. They believe that suffering is the way to make people work, make people happy. And in the end, they don't watch out for themselves. They're constantly just waiting for someone else. And what ends up happening, which is a very human thing, is if you continuously suffer for someone else, if you continuously suffer because you think it makes someone else happy, at some point of time, you begin to expect. You begin to expect that they will pay back. You begin to expect that they will in some way return this favor. And if that doesn't happen, then you are shattered then you almost believe that you suffered for no reason and now you're in this debt trap or in this really bad position. The other person is clearly happy and they don't even recognize the hard work or the effort that you went through. 
the fact is they didn't because they didn't even ask for it most likely. It was you who made that choice to suffer because you felt that that was the act of selflessness. So a simple message, a powerful one. Do not trick yourself into believing that if you suffer for someone else by your own choice, you're being generous. The best, best form of generosity is when you do not suffer within. The best form of selflessness is for you to recognize that there is a self within you that needs to be taken care of, needs to be nurtured, needs to be looked at, looked after, and that is the first person you always start with. Once you get to that point, you can help anyone else and that will not come because you're suffering, it will come because you are in a position of peace. Until next week, I'll see you all. Bye.